by today's topic, and you see why I'm wearing the suit. I actually brought the suit for this presentation because, unlike most of the other presentations, I will not go into any technical detail, but just speak from a very high level. So, the topic is revitalizing the home studio, a typical small job here piece. Okay, so <laughs> once upon a time there was a company called CAR, which stood for Computer Anwendung für Industrie System aus DFA. They were located close to Würzburg in Germany, founded in the 80s by a today still existing producer of marmalade and juice called Wild, or Wild, you would call it. And they are, their main product is Zulkis, and those who drink uh, things know what it is. The mountains are not sold at all, they are only sold to producers of um, yogurts and so as an add on. And uh, they had an ERP system written in COBOL with a character you buy, you can in, in, in imagine it was either white on black green on black, but they had heard of this smallpox. You know, it was the time end of the 1980s, early 90s, and they said, oh, we want to improve our application and get it a um, nice graphic user interface, and they chose object works for smallpox. So uh, this is my tea cup, and that's the only thing I could find uh, as, a, as a pointer to that product. And they chose a modern UI front end tool called Object Forms. And this is what was called modern in those days. So, what they actually did, they grabbed the old screens and added a nice UI using Object Forms. These are actually pictures from the Object Forms documentation. And this is before VisualWorks came out. So, and then they were so enthusiastic about it that they said there is more in this small dot thing than just why. There is something we can really go to a different market and do something else. And that all the new thing components do. And that was their logo in those days. <coughs> And these are two of the, the brochures they were having. And they were saying, we are having models, solutions. And over here you see the, the graphics on boxes. So the idea was to have a Lego box system and to use that for the ERP market. And they were sort of successful doing it that way. The, even Sitcom put them and made a success story. And the person on the left was the, this person was the by then, this is the spirit giver of the system called Georg Falk. So this is right at, still today it's on the Seacom website. You find this over there, and I got it from there. And Georg Falk is, was the person who gave all the ideas to, to get this thing and was the, having the high efficient and compact or whatever, you can see all the buzzwords when you go to that site. But then .com came up, and there were a few companies that just thought big is beautiful. These were the times when a company called Polka or Gemstone. So when I saw that VMware bought Gemstone, I said, oh, they don't. Uh, but I think this is a different story today. In those days, in the late 1990s, there were a lot of things that were interesting, so to speak. So, Boyle purchased CAI, CAI and uh, they changed, I think, in those days when they had it, most of the changes were just rebranding every single class to be prefixed by um, uh, borrow component there. So it's all classes from that, that moment on had the prefix PC done. So, but this, as you all remember, didn't take too long. 
then it was followed up by Dr. Khan. And uh, in, what was it? October 2002, and it speaks of the drama that uh, Burr and eight daughters had to file for bankruptcy. But, uh, so this is a picture that was taken by then, some people were running around with t-shirts, I was part of the dot-com. But only a month later, Soups and the former management made a management buyout of the system of the assets and founded a new company called CS Component Studio. And this is one of the uh, press releases which came out in November 2002. Now the company had become part of Soups, and if you go to the Soups website today, you will still find that they are, which is no longer true. Because uh, about three years ago, actually the official date was of 2nd January 2008, another company, Active Mining, purchased um, the asset, no, they purchased the company, CS Component Studio, and uh, uh, tried to make it part of their business intelligence solution system. But times move on, and uh, on the 3rd January of this year, and this is now a record from a, uh, a German justice information system that speaks about bankruptcies, Component Studio filed for bankruptcy, and was, the official procedure was opened the 3rd January of this So I had heard because I know them forever. So we delivered object, uh, object works to them and we had delivered object forms to them. Uh, we never really lost contact. So I knew about their problems and I said, okay, maybe we can do something about it. It would be too, too sad that they would just go away and disappear because we went through that problem with the analyst already many years ago. The analyst is nowhere right now, so we can't get it anymore. Now, I thought it would be too sad. So that's why we went back to the Mr. Deepman, who is the liquidator, and we purchased the assets. And this happened on the 16th of June, so it took us almost half a year to negotiate with Mr. Deepman to come up with this contract. And since then, we own it. We, this is the official, our official Swiss entity, and you may ask yourself why we use that one and not the other organization for which I typically speak. We wanted to, to keep the uh, risk separate. And this is a smaller company which can easily handle the risk. It won't, if, if something goes wrong again, which I don't know, uh, we will still be able to, uh, to have this separated from the consulting business what we typically do. So, we, most of us, and Neil said it already, who doesn't know us as something missed in this industry? Uh, I found it on the 7787 A to spread smaller than Central Europe. That was the original mission of how I started. About nine years later, we founded this legal entity in Switzerland, which we now use for Component Studio. And for about 12 years, we live in this building there, and those who were at Smart Talk Solutions a couple of years ago when I was speaking about the Bach House, the Bach House has three houses along the, on the same street. And who were at in, uh, in Kutten? Know that we were having in the other direction. That's where we had the jazz. Okay, so our activities are 100% Smart Talk. So we do nothing else. Yeah, certainly we do the things around. If we have to program in C to improve virtual machine, that's what we're doing. If we need to do something in VB to have something run in Excel, but it's always smarter projects as well. Okay, so let's go back to what this component, what we want, what, what's that? And I found when we were looking through all the files, what we got, uh, I found a presentation of the rest of the, 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 this presentation is from 
on the old days. I just I did it. I had a feeling I don't have to reproduce. So the basic idea here in this slide is that the entire system to control a company is either individually because it represents this particular company or it's standardized. That's the blue ones. So financial accounting is the same. It's only dependent of the legal area where you are. Payroll accounting is the same. It's only, it's almost the same. There's maybe some regulations, special contracts the company has with their, with their individual members. They may have some influence, but this is our um, travel is one of those components you wouldn't consider specific. But when it comes to distribution, when it comes to manufacturing, to scheduling, to process machine control, that's the heart of the most businesses. And they are typically different from company to company. We were driving through Zawala recently, and they, they produce uh, needles. And there are 10 companies on, and one river producing needles, and each other different. So they have their own opinion, they are better than the next guy. So, and this is all in the yellow area. And it's a good idea to have software that represents this. So, if you look at the entire demand, standard software meets about between 40 and 70 percent, but you can use the standard software for everything, provided you adapt your company to the standard software. Um, so, there is there's always this tension between how can we do it differently? And the idea of Component Studio is to bring those two together to have standard software and individual software in one package. And to do this with frameworks, to do this with components that exist that fit to frameworks, and they use this technology called Smart Talk for it. And uh, so they have all these components like for sales and distribution, for logistics, for procurement. They are there and they interact with each other, but when it comes to specific things, there will be special adaptations like in materials, like in calculation, like how you do the inventory or how do you do the production planning. And uh, the, the, the idea is the synergy of the presented concepts. So, how can I transfer the company know-how? How do I work with the employment of approach, things, etc. Et and the targets are of this have been production and distribution companies with revenue in the starting at the mid-million level. So not the very, very little one, as we call them, the Ich AG. Uh, not those one person jobs and not the very big guys, but reasonable companies starting at maybe 50 people, 40 people, something like that, until about a thousand people, that range. And to go for specific niche markets where there are special needs in the market, and at the end of the presentation, I will show you a few. And these are the list of the they, they are not all alive anymore, but this is the list of, of companies where the software was deployed originally. And um, Colibus makes uh, um, uh, concrete stones for, for walkways, or um, EO makes machines, uh, Alpina makes cars, very, very small special high-end cars. Um, Trellerbach makes gun for windows. Yeah, so the others are pretty no. So the idea is to have individualization and standards in the same system and to do this framework based. So the technology is based upon visual works with some add-ons like Wood Builder, etc. So it uses the EXPI and the good out object lens to talk to databases. Our languages, uh, report writer, and now it comes to other components like the 
CPS application framework and an enhanced report framework to do user reports. So they call it the, they called it the CS technical framework. And on top of that, the business solutions are built and adjusted for the customer needs. And so the project is the entire thing consisting of ready components and tailored components. So all this is put together and they are chained, chained, chained together so that you get the things out of this mess of component, of this, this huge set of components you do composition. And there is even a composition UI where you can create your application by clicking. So they went so far that you could, that the developer didn't have to program, but take this and filter this so the standardized UI could be created. So standardized UI could be created for a configured application. Um, now these slides go through different applications like in here, what they are doing. I don't want to go into detail because that for this audience it certainly doesn't make sense, but you see it's just standard um, user interfaces with uh, a line of things and then you can get the uh, information. It's mostly like you would see on any database applications. You either see all the data of a single record, which is the big thing, or a list of records which can come from the database. So it's a typical database And so, and then you have these things like processes and structures. So you have this tree where you can, this is another UI component they have been using a lot to uh, get overviews to uh, see what there is. So, and then you have articles you can maintain, you can look on price and pricing uh, algorithms, 